Yes, it's that time. Time to upgrade our EPDM installation. Woohoo! We'll get right into it. Start the upgrade process for the EPDM software first. For the most part, we can go ahead and just click through these first few screens, selecting OK and Next. Now we'll start the installation, accept the new agreement. Contact info. We're going to do a custom installation for my installation. Some of you may only have servers. Now we have the newest item. With 2015, there are no license files, but you do have to have a network license server. So that option's added at the bottom of the selection, feature selection. So we'll go ahead and add that. Here we'll select our database we'll be upgrading, and also our SA login and password. Remember, never lose the SAE or SA password. We'll go ahead and add some add-ins here. Click Next and install. Now, now it'll sit and think for a while. I've cut it out so we can just move through most of this, but we'll enjoy the green bar together for a bit. As soon as this completes, we're going to move right into the installation of the SolidWorks Network License Manager. I'm going to let that start, but we'll come back to that at the end of the video. Here it started. We'll go ahead and finish the EPDM wizard. Here you can see the Network License Manager installation. Click Next. In my case, we're going to, we would be modifying because it's already installed. Here's where you'll enter your SolidWorks license number. All right, next step though, we'll exit out of that. Now we need to upgrade the database itself. So we'll open the EPDM installation again, select the second option, and then upgrade database. Once again, we can go ahead and click through most of these options. We'll select next. Select the database we're going to be upgrading. Set the terms. That SAE, SA password again. Go ahead and enter that in. Tell it which vault to upgrade. And the green bar. Now we've finished. We're all done with that portion of it. Now, for those of you who have an existing SolidWorks network license you want to modify, we'll take a look at that. So we started by going to Add Remove Programs, selecting Modify or Change from Add Remove Programs. You can see my existing serial number, my SNL for SolidWorks is there. I'll just add a comma, a space, and then I'll input my Enterprise PDM serial number, and it's as simple as that. Thanks.